yes, I mean, <clears throat> I was so moved um, when we first went into the Angelica Theatre in New York to hear the sobbing, really, of parents that have been through this journey, the same journey we've been with Billy. And it's, it's not justice for our children, but it feels a little bit like that because we've been through so much, we've been so bullied, we've been told we're crazy, even by close family members. So many of us have been pushed down. We can't even get basic medical help for our children who have, many of them have such severe bowel disease. It, it goes on and on and our, our children are, are drugged. Um, Alex Borlaug is the boy that we worked on before and tried to help so much. You know, four point restraints in a bed. This boy was sick. And this is what we're dealing with with our children. It's, it's a massive human rights issue. These boys, these girls that have had their lives taken away from them, they could have been anything that they wanted to be and that's been cruelly taken away from them. And it doesn't just affect our children, our beautiful children, it affects the parents, the marriage, the finances, the siblings, the grandparents, it goes on and on and on, and it never stops. And even as you saw with Billy with his meltdowns, you know, there's places that we can't go with our son. We can't be a typical family because we have autism, uh, vaccine autism, vaccine injury, that's what it is. And we've been conditioned to not really speak about it because if we do, we lose friends. We've lost so many friends, John and I. We've lost godparents to our children because of this vaccine issue. So, parents, I know you're tired. I know how tired you are, I'm tired. We're all tired and we're exhausted. We don't know what the future holds for our children. But now, <coughs> Baxt, William Thompson, Robert De Niro, so many others are coming forward now to stand up for our children. And we mustn't be exhausted. We've got to stand up and we've got to tell our stories and we've got to show the world what real vaccine injury looks like. We've got to stop it happening to the future generation and for the sake of our children who are being damaged, we cannot stay quiet. And if you, if you don't know how to do this, then join other organizations, join Vaxed, join um, the Thinking Mums Revolution, join Hear This Well campaign, or do it yourself. It doesn't matter, just be heard. Please be heard because every time the media say vaccines don't cause autism, they're saying that our children, what happened to our children wasn't real. So for their sake, please, now is the time that we stand together, united, because we are one big family, stand together and tell our stories because that's the only way we're gonna win this. Bravo. Yeah.